Dmitry Razumihin was Raskolnikov's friend, but he differed greatly from Raskolnikov. As Dostoevsky puts it, he was an exceptionally good-humored and candid youth, good-natured to the point of simplicity, though both depth and dignity lay concealed under that simplicity. The better of his comrades understood this and all were fond of him. He was extremely intelligent, though he was certainly rather a simpleton at times. There was another remarkable trait in Dmitry Razumihin. He never disponded, even in the most difficult situations. He always knew how to earn money for living, and even being a needy situation, he was very creative, inventive and enthusiastic. He was a true friend to Raskolnikov, another guardian angel in the flesh, together with Sonia Marmeladova. He helped and saved Raskolnikov. Unlike Sonia, who became Raskolnikov's uh, conscience, watching him, following him, loving him, and waiting for the deed from him, Razumihin tried to save Raskolnikov in social terms, to cure him, to give him a job, to introduce him to other people. Although Razumihin took a grave view of Raskolnikov's concept about ordinary and extraordinary people, he didn't reject Raskolnikov as a person, as his friend. Razumihin felt responsible for Radion Raskolnikov, for his physical state, for his mental state, for his social state. Introducing Dmitry Razumihin in the novel, Dostoevsky tried to show us that a person, that even in bad, cir bad circumstances, a person can maintain a positive attitude and have courage without blaming anyone and not feeling frustrated. Razumihin is a believer, a Christian, a humanist, but his Christianity is so natural, without artificiality and dogma. He is spontaneous, emotional, but he is neither selfish nor arrogant. He makes mistakes, but he always sees them and tries to mend his ways. Now let's move on to Lushin, Dunya, uh, Dunya Raskolnikova's fiancé. Lushin had an outward appearance of a respectable, noble person. But he turned out to be a person, he turned out to be a man, he was able to play a dirty trick. He slandered Sonia Marmeladova. He felt satisfied when he saw that other people were somehow dependent on him. He was a man who had made up his mind to marry a girl of good reputation without dowry and, above all, one who had experienced poverty, because, as he explained, a man ought not to be indebted to his wife, but this is better for a wife to look upon her husband as her benefactor. This concept of his insulted Dunya's mother and her brother Rodion Raskolnikov. Lusion was so selfish that he made Dunya choose between him and her brother. There was another disgusting trait in Lusion's personality. He was absolutely convinced that he was always right, that he could do no wrong. Fortunately, Dunya could see his meanness and broke off the engagement. Svidrigayev, another Dunya's ardent admirer, was a strange and frightening person. He said to Raskolnikov, didn't I say that there was something in common between us? Huh? I keep fancying there is something about you like me. 
Sotrigailov felt, and then he got to know that Raskolnikov was a murderer like him. He saw Raskolnikov as his friend. He was frank with Raskolnikov, telling him about his life, his background, his feelings. Svidrigailov didn't see any sense in love except satisfying his lust for women, especially for young and innocent girls. This made his life exciting. His feeling for, for Dunya was not true love. It was not vulgar lust, but a more complicated passion because he had tried to make friends with her and even thought that she could uh, make him better. But still, he wasn't able to experience love because of his sins that had caused other people's deaths and darkened his soul. He felt twinges of conscience. Remember the visits of his, wa uh, his dead wife and the nightmares he saw, but all these couldn't lead him to remorse, but to despair and subsequent suicide. These three men we have analyzed were rivals for Dunya's hand, but she, being a moral woman, could make the right choice. It was good providence that Razumihin met Dunya, Raskolnikov's sister, and fell in love with her. She, for her part, felt respect and admiration for him. Their alliance, Dmitri and Dunya, as Dostoevsky shows us, is going to become very harmonious and happy.